There's no end to the kind of things Allie will lie about. Allie was telling people that I was wrestling with her and touched her breast, that I was stalking her and watching her in the shower. I was completely blindsided. None of those things happened whatsoever. Allie was punished for it, and she went to counseling. We thought that was the end of it. Two years later, those lies came back to bite me again. A friend of the family that was a minor texted a friend of hers saying that Mike tried to have sex with her. She also told him that Mike tried to pull her pants down. When I heard this, I was completely devastated. Immediately, Allie jumped on the bandwagon, saying that I did similar things to her as well. I filed a police report, and the Department of Family Services got involved. It's just absolutely sickening. I was nowhere around when this person said this happened. After I found out that Mike was innocent, I tried to retract the police report, but the damage was already done. Allie was absolutely going on the smear campaign. She was calling detectives, embellishing every part of the story that she possibly could. Allie was telling people that I jumped on top of her. She said that I had taken her to Victoria's Secret and had her do a fashion show for me, which was ridiculous. When Allie was questioned by the authorities, she told them that I tried to get her and the friend to change the story. I never told them to change their story. All I ever wanted was the truth. A few days later, I was charged with witness tampering and spent a day in jail. I was so furious and hurt. Currently, I have attempted statutory rape charges over my head. I could still face up to four years in prison, fines, and be put on the sex offenders list for the rest of my life for bogus charges. When did you first notice that she was fabricating things. Back in 2012, that Mike was actually trying to do something to her through the window and watch her get out of the shower and send her some... That was the first lie right. that you ever noticed her right. telling about anything. Right. Up well, until then, yes. mm -hmm. just normal kind of, yeah, I did my homework kind of stuff. Correct. And this was three years ago, roughly. Right. Okay, and how long have you two been married? Uh, for three years. Huh. Yeah. Since, since 2012. Yeah. So, Been together almost five, though. Yeah. But about the time you got married is about the time she that started happens. telling right lies. Right before that time. I mean, almost immediately before, just a few months before that. Yeah. So what has she lied about? Let's just take a look. I, I kind of put together an overview. Said she's been pregnant multiple times with different guys, mm -hmm. which is not true. No that she had a baby that died, had a hard time dealing with the loss, hard time on the birthday. So when she tells a lie, she doesn't just say, oh, had a baby that died. She, she weaves the story yeah. in and out. Told can't carry a baby full time, will always miscarry. Bio dad doesn't want her because she's pregnant. Emailed random people, baby <clears throat> pictures, a uh, friend claiming her baby. Mm -hmm. Raped by multiple guys. You have no information that that would be, is true no, at all. I Stomach right. pump because she drank too much. Brother OD'd on drugs and alcohol and is in ICU. Stepbrother died in drunk driving accident. Mm -hmm. um, she has a stepbrother. She doesn't have a stepbrother. Oh. Her other father, her, her, her biological father is not married. So she doesn't have a stepbrother. No, she doesn't. Have so a he chances are he didn't die. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Male, female best friend passed away. Aunt, uncle died in a Joplin tornado. Yeah. Was there a tornado in Joplin? There was a tornado in Joplin, and he had a best friend that actually died in, in the tornado. She would take a story that's real and turn right. it into something of her own. Okay, mother killed little cousin in a car accident. Yeah. So you supposedly had a cousin in the car. Right, we were all rolled on, a, the car. on a family trip. But no accident happened. Okay, she watched cousin die. Uh, brother's girlfriend had a baby and the baby died. Mike hurts her younger brother and sister. Mike killed a kitten with a two before. Okay. Uh, Mike locked her in the basement, hit her pain medication that she needed after a car accident that never happened. Right. right. So you hit pain medication she didn't have, right. which she supposedly got for a car wreck that never happened. Right. You rat bastard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.